presentation, we will be discussing FTK 2's evidence review tools. Quick Picks is uh, the primary one that we're going to be focusing on here. For those individuals that have not reviewed uh, any of our previous webinars, uh, please provide yourself with a few minutes to do so, as we believe these will help provide you with additional insight on specific functions on how to utilize FTK 2.0. We have several presentations that I believe will be most beneficial to you. Uh, one is the introduction to FTK 2.0. Another is the FTK 2 interface overview and the user case management. And there's several others, so please go ahead and take a look at those out on our website. Um, and we will uh, continue building those as, as the requests may come in. Using the West Mantooth uh, image for the purpose of this discussion, I've, go, I've already uh, processed uh, this particular case and having opened it already, uh, as we briefly walk through a number of the icons displayed on the top menu bar here, some of which you may or may not be familiar with. Uh, from the top left here, we have the button here, which is known as the Turn Quick Picks On or Off. Uh, the next one to the right of that is the Turn Filters On or Off. And here you have a, a pull-down for filters that are currently predefined that come with FTK 2.0. Uh, as you can see, there's several of them in here. Uh, you have the ability to take an existing filter that's already in place, and you, you could either utilize that as a template for uh, appending to or modifying to better suit some of your needs for a filter in which you're trying to achieve. Then you have the ability here uh, to actually define your own filter if you choose not to utilize an existing filter that's already defined where you can create the filter. Uh, we do have a uh, small presentation on that, so please review that if you want to know how to utilize that in more detail. Um, as we continue going here, we've got uh, where you can delete an existing filter that you may have utilized or no longer need. Then you also have the ability to create uh, a new filter here, speci specifically selecting this icon. Here you have the ability here to copy an existing filter that may be already uh, created at this time. Then you have the ability here to import a filter from an existing XML file, as well as you have the ability then to export that, uh, that or another uh, filter to an XML file. This last uh, icon or this button here is enabling you to move the boundaries and such of the various panes that you see here as you've got the file list pane, you've got the file can content and the properties. As indicated, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the uh, West Mantooth uh, case here and utilizing the quick picks. As I expand this particular document here, um, opening up the, uh, the partition one of this particular case here, uh, navigating down into uh, uh, the areas of the, the folders and such. We're going to go ahead and uh, select on the West Mantooth folder here, as you can see. Off to the right-hand side here in the file list pane, it shows all the files that are contained under this particular um, partition. And if I expand that partition, as you can see, there's several different folders and other uh, uh, children that are located under that. As noted here, as you can see, they're, they're not expanding each individual file and folder that's in there. It's just showing you that the, the West Mantooth and the contents that is therein. However, if I were to select just to the left of that and select the, the actual parent of the West Mantooth, it then takes and highlights with green folders uh, each individual one below that, which shows me the contents of each folder and file that is therein. Um, I also have the ability here, if I choose to, I can, I can deselect that and select specific ones by holding down the control key and selecting given areas of interest here that may be of relevancy to a case that I might be working here, whereas I may not need uh, to look at everything that's contained therein. Um, that kind of gives you a little bit of an overview of, of utilizing that. As you can see, if I scroll through here, I can see a number of different uh, files that are found within this, uh, these particular folders that I've selected or partitions that I've selected. And note that the, the file here, uh, or the folder here, changes from a green to a yellow, uh, indicating that I'm selecting from, from the parent down 
uh, basically all of its co contents, also known as uh, in the 1x world as list all descendants. Uh, if I go to the, the root or the, the top of this partition here, I have the ability to look here. As you can see, I've got some folders here that might be selected. I can either turn this off entirely or turn it on. And I also have the ability here to grab from the parent all the way down to the end of this particular uh, partition or the case that I'm working here. And it will list everything in the list uh, the uh, file list pane here. Um, this kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. As you note, uh, as I said, you have the ability here to turn them on or off uh, and do a number of different things with them. Um, I hope this was most useful to you. Um, if you want additional information or want to further explore opportunities and such with uh, the, the refinement that you can do within a case, uh, please feel free to give us a call and we'll be more than happy to try to assist you. Uh, and if, you if you've got additional questions uh, outside of that scope, uh, feel free to send those to accessdata.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day.